Welcome to the channel. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, whatever suits you for whatever time zone or whatever time you're watching this video. I would suggest that you like the video because of the algorithms and uh, just saying that right off the bat and getting that out of the way. Just like it for the effort put forth. <clears throat> How's that? I'm going to talk about terrorism today. Where do I begin with this topic? <laughs> I think that I will begin with 9-11. Everybody knows what 9-11 is or was, or at least they think they know. But basically, uh, I'm going to start the story with 9-11 and how a, an offshoot of the definition or let's say a change of the definition or all kinds of things about the definition or the word called terrorism. Terrorism seemed to come into full bloom in this modern day and age, that term with the uh, events of 9-11 which were in, uh, in themselves a terrorist act committed by our own government. A lot of people still have a hard time owning up to this or admitting it, but there's so much overwhelming evidence by groups like 9-11 for Truth and Pilots, uh, Pilots for Truth, Aviation People, ar Architects for 9-11 Truth. There's so much evidence that indicates an inside job or let's say a collaboration that you would really have to be basically not have too much intelligence let's put it that way to think otherwise not have too much reasoning power and all that all that good stuff on a, you know i might i might say at this time that i'm going to take this terrorism thing back further to Native American uh, indigenous culture. But for now, I'm going to talk about the full bloom of the word, <clears throat> a different meaning of the word or an expanded meaning of the word from 9-11 uh, on, all right, to this present day. So when that happened, when 9-11 happened, uh, all of a sudden uh, the powers to be, or let's say the government or the U.S., government or the ones running the U.S. government, whichever, whatever definition you want to put on it, they immediately uh, use this event, okay, to uh, make major changes in uh, American laws and American viewpoint and uh, foreign policy the geopolitical landscape, all that good stuff. They made major changes by declaring a war on terrorism. Okay, this is when we're getting now, we're getting to the word terror and terrorism. Get my drift here. And this war on terrorism was very convenient. There's no coincidence, okay. Uh, it was very convenient for them and also the forming of the Department of Homeland Security and the Patriot Act and all this stuff went hand in hand. It's all connected. So when they declared a war on terrorism, they immediately applied it to the Middle East and Osama bin Laden and later on the Saudis. And uh, as things progressed, as things went on, uh, they talked about an axis of evil, okay, consisting of Middle Eastern countries. And this evolved into just a basic war on terrorist and uh, terrorist activity. <clears throat> <clears throat> this was all a setup, though, see, for things to come, things that are evolving now. So if you look now at the current definitions of terrorism other words have been added to it all right 
So basically what evolved was the term domestic terrorism and uh, information terrorism, things of that nature. Now the basic definition of terrorism is instilling fear in a group of people or a government or a country through probably like paramilitary smaller group action <clears throat> you know committing acts against civilians and uh, appearing out of nowhere uh, striking fear okay that's that's basically what the basic terrorist is it's almost like like al-qaeda or you know, uh, ISIS, groups like that are considered or were considered at the time that 9-11 happened, were considered terrorists. But then as things evolved later on, uh, certain changes were made in what they viewed as a terrorist. So they added domestic terrorists again, like I said, and they added information terrorists and uh, probably other other things that I can't think of right now but it evolved and it morphed into a situation uh, of their original let's say vision their original vision was if they could here's here's the double whammy if they could if they could make an enemy of uh, a word all right Previously, enemies had been known to be things like China and Russia and whatever, you know, uh, actual entities, physical entities, countries, people. Up until that time that, you know, uh, the powers to be uh, wanted an enemy, the, they readily had one in the form of some country. Now, when it became less and less uh, efficient, let's say, or uh, it could be in addition to, actually, to just have that one enemy, they wanted an enemy that would, could encapsulate everything. In other words, if they use the word terrorism, that's not a person, that's not a country. It could be used to encap encapsulate and uh, lend additional or extended meaning to the word enemy or terrorist or whatever. And it's obvious, by the way, they, you know, added domestic terrorism and, and words of that nature that they wanted something that could encompass anything and anybody, basically. And that would mean even the citizens of a country that they lived in, you know, in other words, the government could use uh, the words terrorist on its own citizens. And then I think Obama came along at some point. I know Obama came along at some point. And <clears throat> what he did is he uh, made it legal to assassinate U.S. citizens by drone or whatever means available that were involved in any kind of terrorist acti activities, domestic activities, domestic terrorist activities, or even, you know, people that were on the internet that uh, were spreading a story other than the official narrative of the government. They became terrorists. But see, if you look at the big picture here, you'll see where all this is going. And you will see where it has gone. And so, if you really want to expand that word, or really it's not even, intent, I'm not even intending to expand it, if you want to use the terminology of, let's say, or the definition of a domestic terrorist, the simple definition of a domestic terrorist would be terror that is used against one's own people. In other words, if a government or even a person or an entity or a militia group or, or, or whatever, I guess, it would, you know, it would encompass all of these things that was on this soil that it committed an act of terrorism or fear or striking fear to... Uh, 
manipulate a certain agenda. Well, what does that describe? <laughs> Think about that a minute. What it describes is what the government, this government, is doing to its own people and has done for, has a history of it, let's put it that way. And what is this history? Well, this history is, goes way back to, again, when the European white man, Christian uh, individual happened upon this country and committed terror, you know, terrorist acts on the people of this land. It goes way back, and I've talked about this in previous videos. It's America is born on the back of genocide and terrorism and torture and murder. So you think that their plan has changed since then? Uh, or has it just getting, gotten stronger or maybe morphed? or turned around, or any number of things that I could say at this time, into what's going on now with uh, the onslaught of uh, intimidation, the onslaught of intimidation, censorship, uh, subjugation, lockdowns, of the people of this land and all done by the government of this land, all right? And that a form of abject slavery exists. I've talked about this in previous videos. Enslavement of mankind through the uh, mechanism of uh, you know, financial uh, exchange and things of that nature. But basically this, this, this term terrorism, when it pops up, when I see it over and over again, I, I like to uh, reflect on it and uh, look at the origins of it and that type of thing. This is just an information video, an info video so that you can recognize it not only uh, overseas or things of that nature, but so you can recognize it right, you know, among your own population, your own government, your own land that you live on. And it's subtle. It can be very subtle and it can move in like a snake, you know, it can move in like a can also move in like a windstorm, you know, or let's say even a flood. And it starts off as a trickle and then it gets, you know, water has its way of, uh, if you ever watched the trickle out of a hose or <clears throat> anything of that nature lying on the ground, it trickles and then, when, you know, as it, as the trickle grows, it grows into a river and then it grows into a f ocean or a flood starts off small so this incorporation of the you know the the enemy of america being terrorism was a boondoggle uh for american uh americans living in this country and it just swept in uh insidiously okay and do you think that this wasn't orchestrated through the 9-11 thing and uh, which was again that was an inside job and actually it was pa uh, patterned after a former operation that they had planned called Operation Northwoods where they were going to accuse a long time ago in the 60s they were going to accuse Havana or Cuba of let's say blowing up an airliner I think it was and uh, the plan was that the America was going to blow up their own airliner and kill their own people and blame it on Cuba okay basically that was what Operation Northwoods was and so the 9-11 thing was just kind of a pattern after that let's destroy 3,000 people or however many thousand people exactly it was and let's uh 
blame it on somebody else and then they blamed it on the Middle East, which was really they all all along in their mind it wasn't just the Middle East, it was a two pronged thing. It was actually America as well. And they accomplished their purpose of uh, lulling Americans into some kind of patriotic mindset. Because after 9-11, people were, you know, cruising around in their cars and waving flags. and Oh, they were, uh, I think, USA, USA. Maybe that's where that term originated. And uh, a nationalistic Berber and uh almost like a pearl harbor where everybody wanted to join up and go to war and uh whatever and name a god country an apple pie well this has evolved into what we're seeing today i mean you know when something like this is incorporated back years ago okay you can be sure that the they have a they have a long long planned strategy and the strategy is evolving uh, right before our very eyes and not only is the strategy evolving right before our very eyes but you can see the use of the strategy or the use of the weapon called terrorism the word terrorism and actually, you can really see who the real terrorists are. So, like, if you look around the world and uh, what's going on in Ukraine right now with the, especially the latest attack in the Kursk or Kursk region of a place in Russia that it was basically not on the front lines or anything, just a rural place, kind of a rural place or offbeat place. Uh place of beauty okay from what i understand uh is all all of a sudden invaded by uh the ukrainian horde and then the connections are immediately made that from putin's end end of the uh his his viewpoint or the moscow viewpoint or the russian viewpoint is all of a sudden this war in ukraine evolved into a terrorist uh, movement or, you know, a terrorist operation. And that's all it could be labeled according to the definition of terrorism, which is moving into a certain country and paramilitary groups and striking fear and uh, killing civilians. Here's, here's, the, here's the big thing here. It's the killing of civilians. Not a regular military operation where one soldier goes up against another soldier. It's the killing of civilians and the terrorizing and the looting and the raping and all that good stuff or bad stuff is part of what is described as terrorism. So now uh, Russia is realizing that, by, you know, the, the terrorist uh, card being played by NATO, who is in turn uh, none other than uh, the West or the American government, American uh, America, all right? So now we can see, I mean, it, as if, you know, I didn't see it before, maybe many people didn't see it before, but now you can see who the real terrorist is. One thing you got to be sure of is that when the government coins a name for something, it's just like conspiracy theorist or terrorist or whatever. When they coin a term, all right, or expand on that term, you, you, you better believe that their, you know, their, their motive is very impure and dark, okay? And so, as we move around in this duality, these these are the things that should be uh, red flags or that, that should be made aware to you as to how they use a double-blind type 
thing. Whatever they say somebody else is, is actually what they are. And they're letting you know it in by their actions. And they're also conditioning you to the idea of terrorism, even if uh, they end up being the terrorists, all right? It's good to condition to people in that frame of mind because it's a fear frame of mind. And they expand on that fear frame of mind. And the way they do it is by eventually committing acts of terrorism on its own people, by, you know, by the ruling powers of those people and you see this 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 has been kind of a, a a thread that has been woven through the fabric of uh, society again since the early times of the indigenous people of this land it's the same playbook the same playbook is used over and over and over again and why do they use that same playbook? Because it works, okay? And, and people, they know how people are conditioned. They know what people fear. They know what people uh, accept through that fear. Let's put it that way. Like, say, accepting a new Patriot Act or a new... Uh, definition of terrorism and uh, a new type of enemy and a new war and they always have the solution to the problem see it's all it goes right back to that problem reaction solution thing we always give you the you know the problem was 9 11 the reaction was the you know the institution of the Patriot Act and Department of Homeland Security and the word terrorism and the war on terrorism and all that. So the reaction, you know, the reaction uh, to that is uh, obvious. And then the solution to the problem is always, well, we will protect you. We will protect you. We are your protectors. We are the exceptional uh, government, the exceptional nation. We are your protectors. Just trust us. Everything is going to be okay. So I guess I'll just leave it there today. That's kind of my short little talk today on uh, terrorism, something to think about. I urge you that if you uh, like this channel and, and the wisdom that is spoken from this channel, and I always speak with native wisdom or with tribal wisdom, I try to come from that angle. As a matter of fact, there's not too many people, there's not enough people coming from this angle. So through, you know, through the, uh, through the years, the dilution of, let's say the wisdom keepers and the medicine men and the shamans of the tribes there has been a major dilution or in other words evaporation don't exist anymore uh, no leaders and especially if you want to go on YouTube that's and search for that kind of thing that's kind of my purpose or you know what i'm trying to do is to fulfill that purpose while i'm still walking the planet before i evap evaporate or disappear or whatever you know uh be me up scotty you know before i uh, go to the uh, star brothers and sisters as I walk this earth, my purpose is to uh, fulfill that role and uh, to basically just speak truth as much as I can and uh, offer some kind of guidance. So anyway, I do have a prayer circle. It's called the Red Road Prayer Circle. And... Uh, I also have a website, and you can find out information 
about the Parasol Cooler, you can email me spiritofcrazyhorse.com in the spirit it's not in it's just spirit spiritofcrazyhorse.com and my books are on there i have a couple of uh actually i have about four books out now and uh, one's an award-winning book so if you want to find out more information about that just go into the show notes below and there there'll be a link down there and until we talk again i i would just say wopila which means thank you hachitowelo it is good aho